Today I'm going to show you a close look at this. This is the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Telescoping Pole Saw. It was just over two months ago at the Milwaukee Pipeline event where they featured this saw and they had some demonstrations outside where we could test it out. But today I have some real life situations where we're gonna put it to the test. And then we're also gonna see a couple things that you wanna check out in this video. So first of all, I wanna mention that you can get this as a tool only. The other option, you can get it in a kit where it comes with this 12 amp hour high output battery. But if you watch a little bit further in this video, I have something I wanna show you. But we're also going to compare it with the new Forge, six amp hour battery right here. So between these two, this one should have the same amount of power as this, if not more. So let's go. You know, I always like hearing from you guys, and one thing I like to hear in the comments right away is whether or not you're a battery person or a two-stroke person when it comes to your outdoor power equipment. There's some advantages to both, but today I'm gonna show you the advantages of going with battery power. So what I'd like to show you real quick is how fast you can be up and running with this. So let's say you're just grabbing it from your storage spot and you wanna start using it. This is all it takes to be up and running. Step one, grab a freshly charged battery, like I have one right there. Step two is to top off with bar and chain oil right here. And then step three, you put the battery in. The next step is to run this right here at full speed for up to 30 seconds until we see a little line right there of bar and chain oil. All right, this has plenty of oil coming out, so that's good. We're ready to run. So one other quick note, there is some onboard tool storage. So you have this little chainsaw scrunch right here. So this is a wrench for adjusting your chain right here. So make sure you have the battery out and you wanna just, that looks pretty good right there. I could probably tighten it slightly. When you first go and use this, it's probably going to stretch out a little bit, the first use, a couple uses of that. You don't want it too tight. I think we'll see how that works. So the tool storage is conveniently located right here on the bottom part. It goes in like that and flip it into that lock position. Now we're ready to go. Let's take a look at the throttle. So to use it, you have to push this little lever forward right there. So you push that forward and that presses down slightly. And then right here with your finger. So yeah, that's a variable speed trigger. See, high and low right there. That's the slowest. Let me show you this cool feature right here. You can see I have this little orange line on this piece of wood right here. And I'll show you how the sight line works right there on the pull saw. So one thing I recommend is having the proper safety gear, especially eye protection. If you're making sawdust, I don't know if you ever had anything fly into your eye and scratch it before. I've had that happen two summers ago and it was a miserable experience. So anyways, don't wanna go through that again. So if you look over my shoulder right here, you'll see I can line that up with that orange line right there. So if I'm standing way back, that will help me know exactly where to cut. Try to do my best right here. And yeah, not bad. I'd say I pretty much cut that line in half. The other half is down there. All right, the time has come for the battery face-off. So we have the 12 amp hour high output versus the six amp hour XC Forge. We're gonna start off with this one first and they both have a full charge. So before we put a battery in, I thought I'd get a measurement right here of the actual cutting distance that we have. So we're looking at about nine and a half inches right there. And the thing that I have that's closest to that is this walnut right here. This is a short piece. I have it strapped down really tight. So we're gonna do three cuts with the 12 amp hour, then we're gonna switch batteries. So I'll try to use the same downward pressure and we'll just see if we notice any differences. Here we go. Try to just do some thin slices right here. Ready? Basically just letting the saw do the work. No problem. 
In one of my other videos, there's somebody I know that makes coasters. They're saying that I should finish these for coasters. Maybe put some marine varnish on them. What do you think? Now it's time for the forge. Seem pretty close in performance. I think, let's see if there's a speed difference. Switch out to the 12 amp hour. Oh, pretty close. If you can hear or see a difference, let me know down below. I'm gonna have to watch this as I'm editing the video to see if there's a difference. So I was looking at this pine tree right here and up right there there's just a little limb that's sticking out about a foot and that snapped off after that. So I might as well try to cut that somewhat close to the tree. So this ground slopes downhill this way as I'm walking and right there, I don't know if you can see that. So there is a shoulder harness if you wanna use that and that clips on this right here. I'm not gonna use it at the moment. All right, let's see if we can get it from down here. There we go. I don't wanna cut it too close to the tree. I wanna leave a little collar. I think that's the terminology. So from what I've heard, that's the best bet to have a healthy pruning job. So one of the things I see on a lot of manual pole pruners is this branch hook right here. So I'm glad to see it on this one. These really come in handy. Sometimes after you cut something, you wanna pull it back out of the way. And it depends if you have some kind of prickers on there. It's nice to be able to reach this in there and yank that thing out. So I'll just show you a limb that I cut the other day how I use this. This is the branch that I cut right in here. So let's just say after I cut it, it's underneath there. So it just comes in handy after you cut it to use this grab hook. You can just see, I can pull that right on out. So it's nice I don't have to walk in there and avoid hitting my head on a branch or getting some sap on me. You can just use this right here and pull it out. So I'm gonna guess that a few of you watching this might be saying to yourself, you know what, I thought Milwaukee already had a pole saw. Well, they do have a pole saw, let me show you. They have this right here, which is the quick lock system. So, take your attachments out. You can grab your pole saw attachment. And this is their original pole saw right here. So you can run it at this length right here, and they also offer an extension, which I think they come in four foot extension. So I believe it's rated for one extension on this right here. But what we're looking at today is the telescoping feature. So really easy to bring it down right there to nine feet or to go out here all the way to 13. So when you're on the go, you can adjust it to whatever length that you need. So one of the other nice things about this right here, it's a real compact design. As you can see, after you take that battery out, this will actually fit inside a six inch tube. So let's say, you know, when you see the different trades driving like a truck or a van, you see that tube on the top, this will fit inside a six inch tube, six inch pipe, I should say. All right, so here we have the padded shoulder strap. So it hooks on that clip right there. And then right there you have your adjustment. Oh yeah, there we go, that. So take a few minutes adjusting it, the height right here, and then where it is right there, right here. Feels like I'm playing a guitar. But this is a good working position right there, see? Take my left hand off it right there, and this right here. The weight between this and my right hand and my left hand, that will work out really well for extended use. One of the things I look for when I'm testing a pole saw or chainsaw is to see what kind of chatter you have with the chain. So I was testing probably three or four years ago a Works brand pole saw and I noticed that it was jumping around quite a bit. This seems very smooth. If you watch this cutting this, it doesn't jump around. It's just going right through it like butter. So definitely recommend it. It's starting to get a little bit dark out, but we're gonna take a minute to look at some of the specs and features on the box. So you can see right here, the Milwaukee is the most powerful and this is the leading 36cc competitor. You can see the difference right there in power. This has the fastest clean cuts. You can see that's a shorter amount of time compared to the other two. 
There's a lot of great things to consider with battery power, such as no gas headaches, no pull starts, no engine fuel to put in, no CO2 emissions. You don't have that loud noise and no mixing gas and oil. And with all the Milwaukee fuel tools, you have the Power State brushless motor, Redlink Plus Intelligence, and the Red Lithium battery pack. And it has a three year tool warranty. Here we have some useful information if you're wondering how many cuts you'll get with the 12 amp hour battery. So in four inch diameter, you'll get 175 cuts, six inch diameter, 75 cuts, and eight inch diameter, 40 cuts. So now that you've seen this uh, quick overview, putting it through some tests, want to know what you think. I just have to say, I think it's legit. It's very smooth. It just operates really quick and easy. And I'm just, yeah, I'm very happy with it. So if I haven't said it before, I definitely look forward to your comments. So please put them down below and I will respond to you. That's it for now, friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.